Hi, I'm Zach with Superstrata, and I want to talk a little bit about some of the materials that go into how we make the Superstrata. So, uh, you might be familiar with uh, traditional bike frames that are made out of aluminum or titanium, metals essentially. And um, metals are all the same stuff, they're homogenous. They don't have more than one component because it's all aluminum or it's all titanium. For the Superstrata, we use super strong uh, carbon fiber composites. And what that means is it's a combination of two or more materials. And that way we can take advantage of the strengths of some materials and the weaknesses of others or the strengths of others to have an optimized structure. So compos composites are commonly used in all sorts of different industries, aerospace, uh, oil and gas, automotive, sport and goods, because they're lightweight and strong. And that strength is due to the anisotropic behavior of the material, meaning it's going to behave differently when I pull on it in a, the long direction, or you can think with the grain, compared to against the grain or uh, normal to the grain or uh, perpendicular to the grain. So you might have heard a lot about carbon fiber. Well, here's a carbon fiber, or a, rather a bunch of carbon fibers. Each of them are uh, around five microns in diameter, super small. Um, but uh, you couldn't actually make something out of this. This is a yarn. This is uh, flexible. I could tie this in a knot. I could uh, make it in a bow. And uh, it's, it, it's not very structural. But it's super strong in one direction. If I were to pull on this yarn in tension, um, it has a lot of strength. Without any reinforcement, if I push on it in compression, it just buckles immediately. So in order to make the structure uh, actually rideable, we encapsulate it with some powder. Um, this is a po thermoplastic polymer that we infuse all of those individual carbon fibers with and put them together into a composite material that has the advantages of carbon fiber and the strength of the thermoplastic to hold all those carbon fibers in place and transfer load between them. And by taking advantage of the unidirectional strength of carbon fiber and the isotropic behavior of a thermoplastic, we can have this optimized structure that is greater than the sum of its parts. And not only that, is ten, more than 10 times the strength along the fiber direction as the other direction. By putting those fibers only where we need them to be, as dictated by the software so that it, it follows the load paths in the frame, we can reduce mass, we can reduce volume of the structure and have a, a super optimized behavior that is much lighter weight than if you used only an isotropic material like aluminum or titanium. To put this into perspective, if you had a uh, rod of aluminum, about 10 millimeters in diameter, that's about the size of uh, one of your fingers, for example, and if you were to have this rod and pull on it in tension, like I was pulling on my finger, that rod would hold around about 4,900 pounds, or about 22 kilonewtons. That's pretty strong um, in tension like that. If you were to have the same rod of material using the carbon fiber thermoplastic material that we make the superstrata out of, that same rod could hold about 138 kilonewtons, or about six times as much. That's 31,000 pounds in a 10 millimeter diameter rod. So it's, at the same time, that rod would weigh about half as much. So that aluminum rod, 10 millimeters diameter, weighs about 212 grams, about half a pound. That same rod in uh, superstrata material, carbon fiber composite, is about 100 grams, uh, or about a quarter pound. So you have more than six times the tensile strength with about half the weight compared to aluminum, which is already pretty uh, high performance stuff, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty lightweight stuff. So by taking advantage of these highly directional properties, we can reduce the amount of weight in a structure while carrying the same or even more load. And that's really how we get to optimize the behavior, the strength and weight, and the strength to weight ratio of the superstrata.